Thank you so much. It is the official pub day of my new novel. And all hour long, we're celebrating people who dreamed and took chances, bet on themselves in honor of Jordan Manning, inspired by Tamron Hall. And so I, I'm so excited about our next guest. Former NFL wide receiver Trent Shelton is living proof that good things can come to those who believe in themselves. When his career, a shout out for that. Thank you. So when, when Trent's career as a pro athlete ended in 2008, the father of three risked it all, taking a really a leap of faith into the world of motivational speaking. Today, he's not only grown into one of the most successful, impactful speakers of this generation, but an acclaimed author who connects with more than 60 million people through his hit podcast and inspirational videos. Take a look. Peace is something you will never experience. If you keep allowing the things you can't control to control you. My friends, there is a constant battle in your life every single day, whether you know it or not. And that battle is between two entities. The external, the request from people, all the things outside of you that you can't control. And then the second is the internal. There's a constant battle for your worth, a constant battle for your peace, a constant battle, Lord, for your sanity. And a lot of us, we're losing that battle, we're losing ourselves. So I wanted to create a framework, not just a word. I want to create a lifestyle. I want to create a foundation to help you achieve more and do more and be happy. I want you not to just look successful, not to just sound successful. I want you to feel successful and be successful. <laughs> Trent just released his third book, and it's called Protect Your Peace, Nine Unapologetic Principles for Thriving in a Chaotic World. Tam fam, please welcome Trent Shelton to our show. Oh, my God. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much for having me. Congratulations on this. I, I mean, I, I could just cry because so many things that you say in the book and that you say in your podcast that I've watched your videos have inspired me and really motivated me in so many ways to take this leap of my own. Yes. Um, first of all, there's something in the water in New Orleans. Let us see New Orleans. You're New Orleans. Yeah. I mean, um, when your career ended, you were down to $200, I read. Yeah. $200. I mean, people see you on the field. They see the success and to think you're down to your last two, I think there's a Johnny Taylor song, last $200. There you go, last two. Uh, that's, I'm from the South as well. But you're down to your last $200, you have a family, and you're feeling like I've failed. Yeah. Because football was your identity. Absolutely. I mean, since I was four years old, that's all I ever knew. I never worked a job. Uh, that was my dream. That was my everything. And just imagine your biggest dream turning into your biggest nightmare. Mm. You know, getting cut six and nine times from three different teams. Like, how does that work? These teams cut me multiple times where I didn't know where I was going to be the next day. Yeah. And I have a, a young son I have to take care of. And I remember that day where I looked at my bank account, and it was $200. And the conversation I had with God is, this it? And uh, he oh. gave me an internal alignment, a knowing inside that said, this isn't it, it's just beginning. And I know that finding the new beginnings, right. you know, there were many other tests, including losing your friend. Yeah. It was it 2011 11. Um, to suicide. Yeah. And that was the catalyst for you posting a two minute video, one of Trent's most popular and liked videos ever. Let me play a little bit of it. You know, I don't know who this video was for, man, but it's like 4 a.m. in the morning, May 10th, and uh, my heart is heavy because I know there's somebody out there that is ready to end their life. That's already made up in their mind that they're not going to fight no more. They're tired of fighting. So I just want to tell you, man, that don't let those thoughts that are trying to kill you, kill you. Those thoughts that telling you life is over, those thoughts that telling you you're not enough, those thoughts that tell you t things won't get better, those thoughts that tell you that you are your mistakes, those thoughts that tell you that you are your past, those thoughts that tell you that you're worthless, don't let those thoughts kill you. They're lying to you. Yeah. 
since your loss of your best friend, um, you've met many other Anthonys. Yeah. And there was someone in Austin that you've met. I see you're, you're it's still raw. Yeah. It's a part of your fiber, it's part of your life. Yeah, that was, uh, Anthony was my everything. Um, I'll never forget going, going to his funeral and promising I will live the rest of my life doing what I do. Mm. You know, making sure somebody has an ear, I'm a voice for people. Like, I'm an introvert by nature. You know, this didn't pick me. I mean, I didn't pick this, this picked me. Yeah. And um, Austin, Texas, I'll never forget, it was one of my first events, a uh, small venue, and two young men came up to me with tears in their eyes, and they said, thank you, Trent. I said, thank you for what? It's like, because of you, my mother is still here. Mm. And, um... <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest, I don't never take that credit, um, because I'm just a vessel and God gets that credit. But I will say this, the lady came up to me and said, I was going on Facebook to say my goodbyes, and that video popped up, and it just gave me the faith to give tomorrow another chance. I, I mean, I'm still blown away, though. It's like from living the dream of being a football player to, as you said, it becoming the nightmare, the responsibility of family, carrying on Anthony's legacy, your family, and then you find this space. He's now on a sold-out 32-city oh tour. God. Races, all ages, all genders, all backgrounds. I mean, football was the long way for you to get to where yeah. you were supposed to be. That's right, for sure. And that's the thing. Um, I always say sometimes you have to lose your everything so you can gain what's really meant for your life. Yeah. So, some... um, I love that the book is Protect Your Peace, Nine Unapologetic Principles for Thriving in a Chaotic World. I'm not gonna run through these nine because you need to get the book and go through it. But I'll tell you one thing that stood out to me. Pursue peace, not perfection. Yeah. <laughs> perfection is, to me, a myth. Um, I think so many times we try to seek this thing and being perfect and our life is guided by comparison or we're running a race being guided by perfection and we always feel like we're not enough. Yeah. And so I tell people, like, life is not about perfection, it's about progression. It's about moving forward every single day and looking at yourself and saying, man, am I better than I was yesterday? Uh, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful, beautiful story of life and what life is like. Protect your peace is available now. And guess what, Tam Fam? You're going home with it!